fly with Abel and Fi. Hi everybody. Welcome to the series on the signs of mindfulness. In most of my classes that I go to, I've been repeatedly asked this question. What happens to my brain when I breathe? Or why do I get less angry when I breathe? What exactly happens to me when I breathe? And to explain this particular question, we use simple science experiments and an understanding of the science of the brain, of the different parts of the brain, the structure of the brain. Now brain is, is actually three brains in one. We have the reptilian brain, which, we, which is a really, really prehistoric brain, which controls our hunger, it controls our body functions. Then we have the limbic system, which is a mammalian brain, where most of our emotions reside. And then we have the more human brain, the prefrontal cortex, the one that makes us smart. Now to make them understand, we have used simple abbreviations for different part of the brain. And I would strongly recommend that you watch the brain song to just understand or just teach the different parts of the brain to your children. We call the limbic system or our a mammalian brain as a jumpy monkey and it's easy to remember because monkeys are our closest mammalian relatives and we call the prefrontal cortex which is the most more human the more rational brain as Mr. Smarty Pants and when we breathe we allow Mr. Smarty Pants to take control whenever we are angry we know when we are angry when we're in stress when we're frustrated when we're crying it's the jumpy monkey that's primarily controlling most of our activities. And when you explain it in these simple terms to the children, it's very easy for them to understand why they breathe. Because when they breathe, they allow Mr. Smarty Pants to be in control. Now to explain the simple structure, I use a simple science experiment that involves vinegar, baking soda, and a balloon and yes you guessed it right it's blowing the balloon magically using these two simple things this bottle is got vinegar it's about a quarter of vinegar that you can add to it and this bottle with the vinegar is like a brain now in this balloon we will add a little bit of baking soda and this baking soda is like a different emotions. It could be anger, it's too much happiness, too much frustration, sadness. Now what happens is when we add all these emotions to our brain, our brain is, gets filled with all of these emotions, it blows up, and guess who's in control right now because this brain is all full of emotions. You guessed it right. It's Mr. Jumpy Monkey. Mr. Jumpy Monkey is currently in control. So what do we have to do to make Mr. Smarty Pants be in control? We simply allow this balloon, which is our brain, to breathe. So we take off our balloon from this thing and to the sound of the bell we let them breathe so you can do this experiment and at the same time you can even include a meditation or a breathing practice in it and it's very helpful because the kids are waiting for this balloon to be released off the air and see deflated and at the same time you have transferred a very important concept not just about the brain but also about breathing to them so we just close our eyes we breathe in, breathe out to the sound of the bell. And as we breathe out, all the negative emotions, everything that holds us back, is released into the air. A jumpy monkey is totally, totally calmed down. Totally settled in the moment and here we are with our Mr. Smarty Pants in control 
if you like this video and if you uh, like the science of mindfulness um, uh, just send us a video of how you did it in your class what all did you include and don't forget to hashtag science mindfulness fablefy uh, thank you so much for the series and say stay tuned to watch for more series like this thank you